Growing up as a refugee in India, Tibetan music was always part of my life. Lying in my bed at night, I would hear elder Tibetans singing folk songs in my camp. They made the mystery of Tibet come to life. It was still in transitional period when I went there. You know, people were, there was still, you know, propaganda, Chinese communist propaganda was still going on in Tibet. And I could see, you know, uh, nomadic uh, farmers who still believe in their old tradition. lyrics were very important because the the central theme of Tibetan folk music you know is more about com, you know uh, compassion harmlessness you know harmony with the nature <laughs> and that quality of life that was led by Tibetans in the past with its rich folk songs and uh, in a simple life it was really beautiful and unique. So first, what they did was when they came to Tibet, you know, they set up the you know the the loudspeakers and the radios, you know, because radio was never introduced to Tibet until Chinese came in. So when they came in. They thought, that, oh wow, these people were not exposed to anything, mm -hmm. you know, and they look so vulnerable, yeah. you know. Yeah. So we can, you know, just change these people in whatever way we want. <laughs> they put communist lyrics, you know, with Tibetan folk song melody, and then, uh, you know, arranged with some, you know, modern kind of, you know, instruments yeah. and a little bit of like, you know, bang, bang, kind beats. of, in a, yeah, beats. Yeah. <laughs> and then, you know, um, and Tibetans thought, and they thought that, you know, Tibetans might like that. They might think it's, 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 a, it's a trendy thing. They accused me of collecting sensitive material under the pretext of recording music. I was charged with spying and sentenced without a trial to 18 years in prison. For me, it's, 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 insp it's, it's inspirational and it's, uh, it's honored for me to to spend time with those freedom fighters when I was in prison. Yeah. And uh, at some point I, I thought about the film when I was uh, first arrested. Like, um, I thought that, you know, they might release me. Mm -hmm. So I thought, wow, you know, I could, you know, I was imagining um, uh, you know, um, some sort of reenactment of you know, prison, you know, that I was in, you know. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but then, a few years later, I knew that, you know, after I was sentenced, you know, it was 18 years, so I stopped thinking about the film. The influence and the the propaganda is everywhere, you know. Mm. You know, the Chinese propaganda, you can hear it from radio, from television, from loudspeakers, in the books, in movies, you know. Um, no, like, uh, history of Tibet is, is written in Tibetan in school test books. It's all about the history of Chinese leaders mm. or some Chinese who has done great things in China, on in Tibet, who were called heroes.
And I think we all should, you know, kind of try to do in one voice and one unity uh, so that there's a movement going on, not just, you know, a few days on the street. Like every day, you know. And I think if we, when we do that, I think we naturally bound to feel our culture.